What's going on everybody? It's me Marcus back here in Descenders. It's been a little while since I've made a YouTube video, but here I am back at it. And uh, this is Fox Creek Bike Park made by King Grouts. And he said that this is based off um, a place in Australia that actually burned down in bushfires this past year. So uh, hopefully they can rebuild this place because at least the terrain didn't get burnt. But I'm assuming that all the trees and you know all the, the plants and everything got destroyed as well as the wooden features if there were any out here. <laughs> so over here we have uh, have some some things going on and then we have someone swimming down in the water too. So uh, he really included <laughs> He really included some uh, some extra animations over here to the side. To go along with that, you have the riders right here, which are animated as well. So that's pretty cool that he actually has animated um, statues pretty much here on this level, which I have not seen before. So I'm going to start out right here on the left hand side and go down this part of the trail first. And it's really cool because it's a realistic style of trail. You have, you know, the technical tighter sections up here near the top and then once we get down further a little bit things begin to open up and you get some higher speed jumps and uh, some big lines down here so right here you can see got a couple small doubles right there but it's really cool because the doubles are built with rocks so that's something a little bit different they're not just they're not just dirt jumps they're it's dirt piled on rocks so that's uh that's pretty interesting and a little bit different and it looks like there are checkpoints as well that he has it to where it's timed so you have your total time and then i guess your checkpoint time so that's really cool it's not just a normal checkpoint he actually has it to where <laughs> where you get time through each one and then there's people you know that are animated off to the side that are cheering which is cool but if you have a weak pc I think that it'll have a tough time running that and even my PC it's the middle of the road it's not anything great it's, it's a little older at this point but um, it shouldn't have too many problems running a game like this but I can kind of feel the frames drop a little bit when I'm riding past those people that are cheering right there and I missed the trail <laughs> get back on the trail right here there's another checkpoint this is a tough trail it's just one of those that you can go fast, but <laughs> you have to make sure that you're uh, that you're hitting all your marks. It's still pretty technical, even though it's beginning to open up a little bit more. So I think right here is where it really begins to open up. I don't remember though. I have ridden this place once. I tried to make this video a week ago, and I had some problems with my computer. You have to watch out for the wooden stakes that the banners are on too, because those are collidable. It's what I actually just crashed on just a second ago. So a lot of switchbacks on the way down here. That's actually a double that I should have hit right there. It slows down. You have a rock garden on the downhill there, which is a pretty cool feature. This is a big double, I think. <laughs> Overjumped it a little bit. And then right down here, this is the finish line, but it's not the actual finish line. So it's the finish line for the timing part of this course. So my time stopped there, but once you get all the way down to the bottom, you have to ride through. Once you get through right here, you ride through the fence, and then you ride over here to the actual finish line if you want to end the, uh, the course and then go back to the top. Now I'm back up top here and we have this trail over here to the right and this one is really fun. A lot of jumps on this one though. And the first jump is really cool. It's a hip jump to the right over that tree. And then we have this section right here where it branches off so you can go left or right. I'm gonna start out left here and then we'll meet back up and go to the right. But you have this huge hip jump to the left. Super fun, I love hip jumps. They're so fun in this game. Just to throw some really big whips off of. And then right here you have almost like a quarter pipe, which is really interesting and different. Case the double. <laughs> and then right here I think this is another hit to the left, which I did not have enough speed for. But then it joins up with this trail, and this is actually um, part of the the trail that you'll meet up with if you 
where it splits off if you go to the right, so. And my controller just disconnected. <laughs> Try and hit this thing again. So I got that double, and then now I have more speed here. There it is. They so step over and then drop down right here. And then this is like a pretty much like a tabletop. This section coming up right here is is pretty cool because you can get some big air on these jumps, especially this one. It's a huge step down. I'm gonna come short. <laughs> Barely cased it. One of the toughest things about this level, or at least this trail on this level, is that there are no checkpoints. Yeah. So you have to set your own checkpoints, which is what I'm doing. Or you can just have the challenge of trying to make it all the way from the top to the bottom without crashing at all. Try and hit this step down again. There it is. And then when you get down here, this is cool right here. It's like a blind jump. And there's like a ridge that you jump over. And then again, this thing gets really fast through here. And then you can go left or right. I'm gonna go right. And you'll see where the left side trail is right over there. And it meets up with this trail. But you gotta maintain your speed through here. There are also wall rides. So you can ride those, which is always fun. This jump right here, I think that's super fun. Like a nice little floater over the top. Slow down right here. Here we go. We got some more speed this time. Perfect. There it is. And then this is a just a booter step up. It just sends you straight up in the air. And then once you get down here, things become a little bit more slow speed. Got this double over the water, which is <laughs> it's pretty tricky again. Gotta try and keep the speed going. But once you get down through here, you don't really have as much of the the downhill to keep your speed for you. You kinda have to do it yourself by pumping the landings and taking off at the right time as well, which is uh, pretty important in this game to keep your speed going. And this is where it branches off to the right, so You'll notice very similar features here after a few jumps because the trail that I just rode meets up with this one right down here somewhere. So you have this really fast step down and you have the switchbacks right here which I think I might have slowed down a little bit too much. But this is where the trail meets up if you go left. So all this should look familiar. I'm going to try and get down to the bottom. There is another, um, another spot where the trail actually branches off. A little bit further down here, so I'm trying right that. I might have overjumped that a little bit too far. Almost, almost came up short there. Barely made it. And then right, that's probably my favorite jump. I love jumping over that ridge there. Yeah. Slow down here, and then you can go to the left, and then jump up on top. Yeah. Try and keep it together on those skinnies and then jump across the water, which is a pretty crazy line. Oh, that was a sick whip. I want to try and hit that one line to uh, to wrap this video up, where you jump up on the rocks. The one that I was just trying to show you guys and I end up crashing. Because it's a really cool line. It's just really tricky to get right. So I put a waypoint right there. I don't know if that was a good spot for it. I might just put it up yeah. here. Right there. I feel like that's a better spot. Because this, you can kind of like jump like this and then land land up on the corner a little bit higher. And then you have more speed. So it's kind of like a cool transfer line. It's just really easy to have too much speed. So like that right there. And then land up on the on the berm like that but it's just a really difficult gap to jump all the way up and land 
exactly where you need to because then once you land on the rocks you have like a skinny that you have to ride across so that's hard to just line everything up right it's all about getting the right angle for it see that was that wasn't bad then right there i wasn't i wasn't lined up right or had enough speed yeah there we go there it is and then right there you see those skinnies <laughs> they're so tough to line up Oh man, I boosted that one. Oh, there it is. And I was too far to the right on the second jump. Yeah. Yeah, there we go, there we go. I wonder if I can stay lined up right here. It's actually really tough because when you land, the way the rocks are slanted, it actually kind of pushes you a little bit to the left. Yeah. Uh, uh. Here we go. Come on. I cased it just a little bit. I don't care, I'll take it. <laughs> and then this is where it meets up with the other trail that I've already ridden. And remember, this is the jump that shoots you really high in the air. So that's where I'm gonna end this one. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe for more content if you're new around here. And I will see you guys all again in the next video. Thank you for the continued support, even though it's been a few months. I really appreciate you guys sticking around, and uh, I'm excited for creating more videos for you all. So thanks anyway, and uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.